love to read and I love to write and I love to make videos and I love to do a bunch of creative things. Now, recently I've been struggling with this and I think I know one of the major reasons why and that is my environment. When it comes to changing your behavior, that is implementing new habits in your life or getting rid of old bad habits, I think a lot of people are under the impression that the only thing that they can do to help themselves along is to have more intent, to have a, a deeper desire to change. But this is not really what the studies show, nor is it what kind of my own personal experience has shown. One of the best ways to, to change your behavior, to change your habits actually, is to change your environment. And looking back at my own life, the times where I've implemented the best habits or where I've started the worst ones, they've typically all been at times of transition. So coming back to university for second semester was a time where I implemented a bunch of really good habits. And coming back home for the summer was a time that I implemented some kind of bad ones and that I lost good ones. See, at these times of transitions are when your behavior is most vulnerable, most malleable. And when you understand this, you can use it to your benefit. And you can use it to implement good habits by changing your environment. So I'm trying to get my good habits back and, and kind of drop the bad ones that I've picked up. And to make this easier on myself, to make this more doable, I just change my environment a little bit. It's pretty subtle. I just rearranged the furniture in my room. I did it intentionally, and I'll explain that in a second, but just rearranging it enough so that I I feel like I'm in a little bit of a different place. It's just enough of a mental cue to remind myself that my behavior is slightly different. So the way that I rearranged my room, I did it kind of carefully actually. I basically wanted to separate the different parts of my room by the behavior that I wanted to do in each of them. So if I'm gonna be sleeping, I only wanna be doing that on my bed, obviously, and that's the only thing that I wanna be doing on my bed. Because if I'm you know, watching videos, writing, reading on my bed as well, my brain gets kind of confused by that. There are interesting studies that show this. You actually sleep better if all that you do in your bed is sleep. It kind of makes sense because you're associating the task with the place. Similarly, I wanted my desk to be a place of work. I wanted that to be the only thing that I do at my desk. I'll be coding, I'll be you know, working. If I was doing schoolwork, for example, I'd do it at my desk. And then I also wanted a place for creativity. I wanted a place to read, to write, to work on my videos and so on. And so what I did is I created that. I just put a little chair in my corner, put a bunch of books around it, put a lamp next to it, and well, that's where I am right now. Now, it's only been a few days since I've done this, but the impact, I've already felt it. I mean, this corner is the biggest one. It's my creative corner, if you will. I've been reading a ton, and that's amazing because I wasn't reading a lot for the past few weeks. I'll be real with you. I'm trying to read a book a week this year and I was falling a little bit behind. And it wasn't that I was necessarily reading much more difficult books than before. It's just that I wasn't making time for it. And now that I have a place where I can intentionally have creative only time, I've been finding a lot more time in my schedule to be reading and to be writing and so on. So it's been a really great place for me. So yeah, I mean, basically I just spend hours in my corner surrounded by books reading. Bit of a nerd that way. So this whole thing kind of got me thinking, right? A lot of messages that I get from people are talking about how to implement good habits in their life and how to get rid of negative habits. And well, the most obvious advice that I can give to you is if you're trying to change your behavior at all, which I think a lot of my viewers are, then change your environment just a little bit. It took me, what, like an hour to move things around in my room, and the payoffs have been well worth that. So I just think, you know, if you have an hour to spare, maybe spend it putting yourself into a new environment. It doesn't have to be a drastic change. Just rearrange your furniture a little bit. And then combining that with the intentionality, I think you'll find that it's a lot easier to change your behavior. So you might have noticed something kind of weird, and that is that this is a short video, and I'm also uploading it on a Tuesday, which is very weird and different for me. Um, the reason being is that I'm trying to make more videos. I, I really am enjoying YouTube right now. It's kind of the thing that is giving me the most energy and, and I'm having the most fun with. So yeah, I'm trying to do two videos a week. So Tuesday videos are going to be shorter, a little bit more experimental, and Friday videos are going to be longer form video essays as I've been doing for the past few weeks, months, and so on. So if you're only interested in those Friday videos, then they're still coming 
don't worry. But hopefully you like the Tuesday videos as well. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you like them, feel free to leave a like. As always, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.